All right, Math Aid students, hopefully you are flying through these cons because they're not the most difficult. This one is no different, but you do need to watch the video to understand. This first one, it looks a little difficult, but it's really not. All it means is that everything inside this parenthesis goes to the second power. So the negative to the second power, a negative times a negative would be a positive. Two to the second power would be four. Five to the second power would be 25. So we would have a positive 4 over 25. Again, 2 squared is 4. That's where the 4 came from. 5 squared right here. 5 squared is 25. That's where this came from. And because it's positive, it's because a negative squared, a negative times a negative, would be a positive. Okay. Now here, this one right here. Again, all three of these will go to the third power. So a negative to a negative to a negative. Three negatives make a negative. Three to the third power. Three times three is nine times another three is 27. And four to the third power. Four times four is 16. And 16 times a third four is 64. So this one is negative 27 over 64. Now, when you have something like this and you have a mixed number, we need to first turn this into a single fraction or a uh, improper fraction. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this 3. You're going to multiply it by the 2 on the bottom, the denominator. 3 times 2 is 6. And then you're going to add it to the 1 up here. So again, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So you're going to rewrite this one as negative 7 halves to the second power. Just make it into an improper fraction. Then, just like you did the rest of these here, where you take the insides, negative to the second power is positive. 7 to the second power is 49. 2 to the second power is 4. So it's 49 over 4. That's all there is to it. Good luck. Bye-bye.